gray sweats on men, it's like leggings on women. When we wear gray sweatpants, women are going to be looking hey, in areas that they don't usually pants? look at. Don't forget about gray sweatpants season. Gray sweatpants are the equivalent of women in leggings. Don't the girls like it when you wear gray sweatpants? And gray sweatpants, please come through with it. Gray sweatpants can really highlight Gray sweatpants. Gray sweatpants. Casual gray sweatpants. Gray sweatpants. The guys love them. The girls definitely love them. We all love a good pair of gray sweatpants. However, I don't know about you guys, but I find it difficult to find the perfect pair of gray sweatpants. There always seems to be something off. They're either too tight or too baggy or not the right length, or they just look kind of basic instead of the cozy, comfy, yet elevated feel that you want them to have. But that stops today because in today's video, we're going on the hunt. The hunt to find the perfect gray sweatpants. Let's do this. Okay, which brands do we want to try? Okay, okay, so what makes the perfect gray sweatpants? They have to be comfortable, obviously, so the fabric is important. The fit has to be on point and needs to have the right silhouette. Okay, but the question is, who makes the best sweatpants? So here's the deal. We've researched and narrowed it down to eight pairs of gray sweatpants, all at different price points, ranging from $26 all the way to a whopping $683 in the attempt to hopefully find the perfect gray sweatpants. So let's review all eight and see how good they are. For measurement reference, I'm 5'7 and about 60 kilos, and I'm usually between a size 28 or 29 at the waist. Most of these sweatpants will be either in a size small or extra small. First off, we have the ASOS Design Tapered Sweatpants in Grey Marl, coming in at $26. When I think of grey sweatpants, this is what comes to mind. Your basic run-of-the-mill grey sweatpants with an elasticated waistband and your classic ribbed cuffs. Okay, these feel like the starter pack of grey sweatpants. The fit is alright, it's a pretty basic, slim fit. Nothing too novel going on here, nothing too crazy in terms of the design of it. They just have your classic elasticated waistband, ribbed cuffs, and I believe they're 100% cotton, I'd say probably a solid choice to start with if you're on a budget. At number two, we have the weekday Ethan oversized sweatpants. Contrary to the previous ones, these have a wider fit with considerably more room throughout the leg. The ribbing on the cuffs is also slightly different. It's a bit shorter and a bit more bunched up. I quite like the style of cuffs actually. These retail for $60 in the US or 45 pounds in the UK, which is a little bit less. Let's see how they look. Okay, already in terms of design, I like these a lot more. I like the fact that they're more oversized, there's more room throughout the leg. I actually like the fact that they don't have drawstrings coming out. I like the more minimal design here. Okay, that's different. Got one back pocket instead of two. I like these, I like the fabric. The fabric's a bit more heavyweight here. So definitely something that you can wear in fall winter. Um, I do imagine that it might get a little bit hot to wear these and it's blazing hot. But I would say for $60, these are a really solid pair. At number three, we have the classic sweatpants from Colorful Standard coming in at $88. Made sustainably from 100% organic cotton, they look like a mix between the ASOS tapered sweatpants and the weekday oversized ones. The design is more similar to the weekday ones, except they have drawstrings and the fit seems to be slimmer overall. It says that they're pre-washed as well, which I love because that means that they shouldn't shrink. And I hate it when that happens. Often when you buy something for the first time and wash it, it tends to shrink a little bit, which which sucks if it fit you perfectly when you bought it. Let's give this one a try. Wow, the feeling of these already. They're fleece on the inside and it feels extremely comfortable. Definitely a step up from the previous two in terms of the comfort of the fabric. It feels extremely cozy inside. In terms of fit, these remind me a little bit of the ASOS ones, except they're a little bit less slim, which is great because I thought the other ones were too slim. I like the cuff on the leg over here. The fact that they're this shorter bunched up type of ripped cuff. We've got some drawstrings here. I don't mind it. I don't mind the drawstrings too much on this one and no pockets on the back. These really feel like your classic gray sweatpants except a little bit more premium, more elevated with better fabric quality, better construction and just a better fit overall. Not gonna lie, I'm really loving these. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna jump up the price a little bit. 
At number four, we have sweatpants from a brand that seems to be popping up everywhere these days, Essentials. The Essentials Relax sweatpants are priced at $124, made from an 80% cotton, 20% polyester blend with a relaxed fit, straight leg, and Fear of God's signature super long drawstrings. I'm a big fan of Fear of God, the mother brand of Essentials, so let's see how these stack up. Okay, I have to be honest here, I might be a little bit biased with these because I've had these in my order before. I absolutely love them. In terms of great sweatpants, these provide a little bit of a different silhouette, which I think is quite interesting. They also don't have any ribbing or elastic on the cuffs. So they have this slight stack on the shoe, as you can see. Gives it a bit more of an old school sweatpant vibe. You've got the brand signature, little black logo patch here in the center. Some people will like it, some people might not. It is a little bit of an uncommon placement for a logo and of course the 1977 which is the designer's birth year the extra long drawstrings again might be a little bit controversial not everyone will love these they are very very long but if you want them shorter you can always just tighten them up a little bit you can play around with it really but yeah in terms of fit they're a straight relaxed fit they do have some more room throughout the leg for added comfort they are a little bit more expensive than the previous ones but for that price you're getting a silhouette that is quite different to what you would usually get with gray sweatpants Personally, I'm a fan. Okay, before we go on to the next pair of sweatpants, just a quick sponsor break. This is Athletic Greens. I drink it every morning before breakfast. It has 75 different vitamins, minerals, and nutrients all in one daily serving. It's the only nutritional supplement I take besides vitamin D and omega-3s, and it's super easy to make. One scoop of the AG1 powder, 250 milliliters of water, shake it, and drink it. Athletic Greens helps improve your gut health, it supports your immune system, boosts your energy levels, and even helps with muscle recovery, all in one simple scoop, once a day, every day. If you guys aren't already drinking Athletic Greens, I would highly recommend you check them out. Go to the link in the description, and you can get a free one-year supply of vitamin D, plus five individual travel packs with your first purchase of HE1. Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now let's move on to sweatpan number five. Next up, we have Pangaea's Signature Track Pants. Different from Pangaea's normal 365 track pants, the Signature ones are made for the colder months as they're made from a heavyweight, thicker cotton. Although at $140, the price is not the lowest, the big plus with Pangaea is that they have a big emphasis on producing ethically and sustainably using responsibly sourced materials that have been recycled or made with a low impact on the environment. So you do know what you're paying for. Okay, they're not that gray marl that we had in the other sweatpants are a little bit more of a stone gray here. We've got the classic Pangaea branding here, no pockets in the back. They are a bit more heavyweight as well. Yeah, they're a bit fleecy inside. I'd say that in terms of warmth, these are on par with the colorful standard sweatpants and they're also made sustainably, which is great. In terms of fit, it's a solid in between a classic and an oversized fit. Not too slim at all, but also not super baggy. They're just a nice in between. If you have a little bit more budget and want to invest in something that's made sustainably and ethically, I'd say these are a very solid pair of sweatpants. These would look sick with the matching hoodie or sweatshirt, of course. And if you're a little bit tired of the classic gray marl colorway. These come in a few different tonal shades of gray slash beige, so you can play around with that as well. At number six, we have the Relax Fit Cashmere Joggers from Cause. For a grand sum of $180, you can get these finely knitted 100% cashmere sweatpants with a softly brushed finish and a relaxed fit which slightly tapers in towards the hem. To be honest, this is actually a very reasonable price for pure cashmere. Okay, wow. In terms of comfort, these blow the cotton sweatpants out of the water. The cashmere feels absolutely amazing. This is probably the softest pair of sweatpants I've ever worn. I love the texture on them as well. In terms of fit, they're a pretty standard fit. They remind me of the colorful standard ones. They're just more of a slim tapered fit with a ribbed cuff at the ankle, elasticated waistband, and the drawstrings as well. One pocket, no pocket, yep. One pocket the back. These really represent the classic minimal branding of cause. Super minimalist silhouette with high-end materials using 100% cashmere. I'm a big fan. If I were to get only one pair of sweatpants, I probably wouldn't get these as you have to be a lot more careful with how you take care of them. I don't think you can put these in the washing machine. Let me just check the care label. Where is the care label on this? <laughs> so cover this part for you two. Oh, there it is in the back. Use mild detergents, dry flat. Okay, it looks like you actually can put them in the washing machine. I don't know if I'd recommend it. I don't know if I want to try putting cashmere 
mirror in the washing machine, you're probably safer going to the dry cleaners. If you have a little bit more budget to invest in a really good pair of sweatpants, 180 bucks really is not that much for cashmere. I'm gonna be honest here. So a really solid choice here from Kaz. Okay, now we're about to level it up for this next one. Coming in at number seven, we have the Acne Studios sweatpants for a price of $320 US. The Swedish fashion house is known for producing high-end men's clothing with an eclectic style, but they've kept it minimal with this design. Boasting an oversized fit, a three-pocket design with thick white drawstrings and made from 100% cotton, these sweatpants kind of look like a more expensive version of the weekday oversized sweatpants, but let's see how they fare. Okay, these are a bit loose, eh? Fit a little bit bigger than the rest. For an extra small, the waist is a bit wider here, but still fits. I like the white drawstrings on this one. It's a little bit funky how they did the endings of them. They feel good, they're comfortable. I don't know how much more comfortable they are than the rest, but they're comfy. In terms of silhouette, they're very oversized. Probably even a little bit more oversized than the weekday ones, I would say. As you can see from this side here, you can see just how wide they are. You have yep, one pocket design on the back the Acne Studios branding here on the side. We've got the little smiley, it's not a smiley face actually, it's like a meh face. It's a neutral face, it's a neutral face is what it is. I'm not gonna lie, the material doesn't feel that much different to the other ones. It's actually less comfortable than the colorful standard Pangaea Essentials because the inside, I guess the inside isn't fleecy. Maybe I am biased towards the, the fleece lining on the inside, but yeah, they're they're okay, they're okay. They're, they're a good cotton, the silhouette is nice and oversized, it kind of reminds me of Balenciaga a little bit in terms of the oversizedness of them. The only added detail here besides the branding, of course, that's different from the rest are the drawstrings, which I don't know if I want to pay 100, 200 bucks more for drawstrings, right? I'm normally a big fan of Acne Studios. I really like the brand, the silhouettes and designs they have. But here I am a little bit disappointed by these sweatpants. They're great, but I don't know if I can justify the price for them. Last but definitely not least, coming in at a whopping $683, we have the Ralph Lauren Purple Label Herringbone Cashmere Sweatpants. These crazy expensive sweatpants are made from 100% cashmere, and the closer you look at them, the more you can appreciate the beauty of this fabric. You can see they have this subtle herringbone pattern and this stitched in center crease that helps give them that more elegant feel. I cannot wait to try these on. I feel like I'm wearing trousers. I don't even feel like I'm wearing sweatpants. This feels incredibly luxurious. The feel of them is insane. I don't know if it's some sort of unconscious bias because I know the price, but the cashmere feels even more soft and comfortable than the cause ones. Okay, it fits a little bit small, I'm gonna say in terms of sizing. The waistband is a little bit tight. Yeah, I do like the stitch in center crease here. Really gives it a different aesthetic to these sweatpants. Feels a little bit more formal, a little bit more elegant. This gives me old money vibes big time. It's got the crease at the back as well. The style of the pockets in the back is similar to smart trousers. They have just a little opening here with the with the button. Got the elastic waistband, of course, the drawstrings, rib cuffs, although they're not too tight at the hem. And of course, the gorgeous herringbone pattern. I feel like these are the, the type of sweatpants you would wear after riding your horse around your big mansion, going golfing, and you just just want to lay in, be comfortable with your rich friends. I don't know why you look at me. Do you think I'm rich to ride horses around my mansion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you two on weekends. <laughs> My PA is fancier than me. Are these worth $683? I don't know if you can justify that price for sweatpants. That is a lot of money to pay for sweatpants, but I don't know. I mean, if you have the available budget and you like this type of aesthetic and you like the herringbone pattern, I haven't seen any other sweatpants with this design. I haven't seen any other herringbone sweatpants with the stitched in center crease that look like this. So if you have the money and you like the design, why the hell not? Personally, they're not exactly my style. They don't fit my aesthetic, but they're good sweatpants. They're very, very good sweatpants. Extremely comfortable, luxury at its finest. All right, guys, now that we have reviewed all eight sweatpants, the question is, which of these brands makes the best great sweatpants? It is a very difficult choice, but let's do a top three ranking. And number three, I have to give it to the Cause sweatpants. The cashmere feels incredible. The fit is nice, and although it is not the cheapest pair, 
it is very reasonably priced for 100% cashmere. All around, a great pair of sweatpants, but maybe just not the most convenient when it comes to caring for them. For the number two place, I will give it to the weekday sweatpants. They might not be as soft as the cashmere ones, but they make up for it in so many other ways. I like the thickness of the fabric, the minimal, no drawstring look, and the oversized fit while not being too baggy. Paired with the right outfit, it can give a very cool, casual, slouchy chic look. And for the number one place, what you've all been waiting for, crowned as the perfect gray sweatpants, will be the colorful standard classic organic sweatpants. They are everything I would want in a classic staple pair of gray sweatpants. The design is simple but thoughtful and very well executed. The fit is perfect. The leg is not too slim, not too wide. The construction is beautifully done. I like the ribbing on the cuffs and most of all they did not skimp on the quality of the lining. The brush fleece on the inside feels extremely comfortable and as if that were not enough they're also pre-washed so they won't shrink which is just icing on the cake. You could lounge around in these all day or wear them when you're out and about with a range of different styles. It's a great all-rounder that you could wear all year long. With that said, I do want to give an honorable mention to the Fear of God Essentials Relax Sweatpants. They're a bit different from your classic sweatpants with their straight leg, drop crotch, and long drawstrings, so they're a bit more of a wild card, but I really like their design as well, and they definitely deserve to be mentioned. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope it was helpful, and thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring the video. Make sure you check them out with the link in the description and get your fix of vitamins. Let me know which of these sweatpants you like best, if you agree with my ranking or not, or maybe you'd like to see me review some other sweatpants. Just let me know in the comments, guys, and on that note, I wish you all a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one.